So look there. Situation that happened here. He opened up my guard. He had his leg up. And he's protecting his hip. So even though if I open up my guard here, I might have this hip excess, but I don't have this one. I can start with double slip control or sleeve and collar here. Doesn't really matter for now because we're going to switch our grip in a little bit. But what I have to pay attention is my next two options. If he sit back all the way, a good option for you might be start to set up a lot to do. Or once he starts to come forward to prevent the lasso, this is space here. So I'm going to do a little hip stick here. As I'm trying to come here, he comes forward to prevent that. And he gives me the space to set up the De La Hip. So that's what we are doing today. So my partner will be coming forward. I do have the space. I don't <coughs> have the space to do that. The guy's too low, no space there. Okay, so you might have space to do that. So it's impossible for him to block both doors. There is always a door open, and we're gonna use this door. Does that make sense for everybody? So I got my De La Hiba here, shallow De La Hiba. So see everybody can see here to me a little bit. Everybody can see my foot here. It's almost like I'm trying to put my foot on his belly. Okay, we can go a deep De La Hiba when my foot goes all the way to the other side. That's not the case today. I'm shallow here. Everybody good? Next thing now, I'm going to do a hip stay. I wanted to make this weight go all to the other knee. I'm going to switch my grip, grab the leg, and I'm going to increase this. What I'm worried about here, I want to make sure he cannot come forward, and I want to make sure that free hand cannot grab this leg. So if I stay here, if I stay here and he has access to the leg, the technique won't really work. So once I do my setup here, I want to make sure that leg is far away from him. And you're turning your foot out now, huh? I'm pushing there. Why you're pushing? Okay. Yeah. My toes are connected to, to, to his belly. Make sense? Now, I'm going to come up on my elbow, let go the foot and pull, drop my hook, technically stand up, and we're going to start to work on the back. Good? That's the basic, basic De La Hiva switch. So one more time. Everybody understand why we are going to La Hiba. Why my decision not going to La Hiba? He just opened up my bar. He's coming forward. What tells me is that his butt's coming up. So I have this little gap here to go there. I can switch my grip from here. And I start to push and keep this foot on the ground away from him. Keep it there. Don't try to technically stand up from here. I'm missing my anchor. And this anchor will be my elbow. So I come up. Then, and now I apply my switch. If you see, I'm isolating one full side. So that's why the, the technique is simple but very, very effective. Any questions? One more time? Yes. So you can even ask your partner to do the, the guard. So boom, we land here, monitoring his hip. Do your adjustment, he's coming forward, you set the shallow de la hiba hook. Everybody good? One, two, step and push. He's heavy there, look, knee, hand, all on the ground. His leg is light. Really hard for him to come back forward. Up on my elbow, hand on the ground, drop to the leg. And then from here, we're gonna start to work on that. Good? Yep. Everybody good? Go. How can I prevent that? So the detail is here, look. This hand, I'm not exactly on the ankle, I'm on the heel, and when I push, I pull the heel. So he's kind of a twist. So when I come and I let go, he doesn't have time to come up with me. Does that make sense? So my leg here and my hand are doing this with me. If he stays here, he stands up. If he stays here, there is no way to stand up. That's what we are doing. Okay? So, as I could do this, but pull it here. Oh, 
force in the direction of this. Yeah, it's the worst for me. <laughs>